Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before I get into it, um, if you are not already a subscriber to my Instagram page or following me on Instagram, then uh, please do so. Okay, let's get into it. I'm still in Cannes, in the south of France. It's nicer weather than the previous video. Now we're going to look at um, one of my favourite yachts. I say that about quite a lot of these yachts, but <clears throat> this one, just a beautiful looking thing. The 99 meter Madame Goo. She's a fed ship. She was delivered in 2013 and she weighs uh, just under 3,000 gross tons and she's 99 meters long. Um, so you might not be aware but the tonnage and the length are quite significant actually. Um, the regulations that are in place, countries follow the international regulations for marine traffic and the tonnage of, un of over 3,000 tons falls into a completely different category not just for regulations concerning the ship but the regulations concerning the crew um, what kind of licenses they have over 3,000 gross tons the officers of the on the bridge so the, the deck officers and the engineers they have to have commercial licenses so under 3,000 tons it's uh, yachting licenses there are some changes coming I'm gonna make a video a separate video about this yeah, the length is 99 meters or 325 feet the beam is 13.6 meters or 44.6 feet has a draft of 4.6 meters 15 feet has a top speed of 24 knots i believe and the propulsion is uh, two mtu 4000 m73 engines and they put they uh, produce 4800 horsepower each or 3600 kilowatts there's a capacity of 12 passengers. Again, that's a that's another regulation. There's, these are not just uh, coincidental, which I'll go into in another video. And it has a crew of 36. Uh, the owner has a very unusual colour on this boat. The hull is painted in a very light blue. It is very hard to maintain that colour. And as a result of that, the, the hull has to be painted every 12 to 24 months. And, it, and, and that comes at a cost of around a million dollars. So that's a that's a pretty big outlay, and it would be it would be much cheaper for the owner to have the colour painted a darker blue or, or white, but um, but he likes the colour. So um, yeah, if you've got the money, right? Uh, the boat was launched in 2013, uh, and it had the yard number. It's a fed ship, by the way, and it had a yard number of 1004. That was the build number. This is another one of those yachts that has a heli hangar, so the um, the deck opens out. Uh, and, uh, and the helicopter lands on the deck and then they fold away the uh, pr the props and then uh, lower it down into the deck and close the top it can also be used as a squash court but it's mainly for helicopters and uh, it has a pretty big uh, hangar on this boat and it's able to carry a, a Eurocopter a AS365 it's very nicely decorated and um, yeah that's a big helicopter and uh, just, in, just in case you wondered, uh, the cost of one of these helicopters, about $9 million. But when, you, when your super yacht costs $150 million, $9 million is not a lot to spend, really, is it? Okay, guys, remember to uh, check me out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, etc. And I'll catch you next time.